So the first day I visited Ma's house, it was long before I did the residency. Um, as soon as I opened the car door, a monarch butterfly met me. Right over the place where this mandala is. And I only made the connection just recently. It's quite magic, really. And a wonderful, wonderful introduction to an incredibly magical space. It began at dusk with the fallen branch as my stylus. I find center in the soil and mark the first circles. Well, here is the beginnings of my circle and symbol, soil mandala piece that I just started. Next morning, with the fallen branch and twine, I continue the lines, adding the quartz gravel to define. Walk the brattle and my friend, do -do -do. This is my bounty. Collecting fallen leaves, red and yellow, to create the center. I continue to collect reeds. Now Shane and Marta come to bless the circle with wisteria and branch and song and dance, giving thanks. <laughs> Um, the song that I sang uh, is a song that was created by my cousin, Gidu Benton. And uh, what it means and what it says in our language is to boot make it your I mean, thank you, great creator. It's a song that we sing for many, many purposes. Uh, just to give thanks for the day, the people that were around, and uh, an opportunity to share who we are as a people. Ginny brings shells from Shinnecock Bay, collected in 20 years of days. An old soul and an old dear friend, I must say. Next morning, the sun shines at Ma's house as I set to work, laying down the shells collected on the shores of Shinnecock Bay over decades of time. There's a gift in it. There's a gift to putting back or replacing or honoring the things that nature leaves. Laying down the lines created by the shells in the soil creates a type of meditation for me, although the physicality of it is quite challenging. The meditation is most necessary. At the center of this piece, I've placed quahog shells traditionally used by the Shinnecock to create wampum belts. There is also jingo shells and slipper shells and knobbed whelk and lightning whelk conch shells, all from the sea and land of this place. All speak to the life of this place and its people. There is no separation. There is only connection to the land here. The direction of things and how things are added are dictated by the natural elements that I find and that I add. The pattern creates itself. There is an intention to where everything is placed and how it is placed. Towards center, away from center, directional, north, south, east, west. Sometimes the pattern changes. Sometimes it begins one way and ends another. 
It is an attempt at allowing the medium itself to speak to where it goes, how it grows, how it evolves. This is what the trees give me. Knowledge and allowance to push forward. Continue. Now complete and its own sentient being, community comes together in a circle. Young and old souls find a connection with earth as they walk the labyrinth. This is its purpose. This is what the trees and the bay and the oceans and the seas gave me. This is what the trees gave us, a place to find center, to remember and reflect on our complete and total connection to earth to all the elements of nature, to each other, to communities. Such unbelievable diversity exists within this space. We all share in this place and all of its fates. This is what the trees gave me, this understanding of connection and joy and unity and history and memory as Jeremy gives us the bird's eye view, we can see what the trees gave us from the sky. Thank you, Jeremy Dennis. You created this space where we can create and grow and thrive. Thank you for your eagle's eye. One love, good people. Thanks for watching.